Hey there, it's Harar and this is The Accent's Way. Today we're going to talk about the most complicated names of TV shows out there, complicated for non-native speakers, and how to pronounce them correctly. This is a list that you actually came up with after I posted about it on Facebook. So, let's get started. Stranger Things. Stranger Things. Three syllables. The first syllable is strain. You start with s and then you move on to the TR. The TR sounds sort of like a ch sound, stray. Then it's the A as in day. So it's not stre, stre, strain. And then you close it with an N, strain. The next syllable is jur, jur. You start with a j sound and you move it directly to the R, jur. Jer, there is no vowel in between. Stranger. And then the last word is things. Stick the tongue up for the TH, relaxed I, things, and end it with a Z because the S is pronounced as a Z. Things. Stranger things. They should have never given us uniforms if they didn't want us to be an army. The Handmaid's Tale. Like any good complicated word, we start with a TH. The. The. Make sure that the vowel after is very reduced so it's not the. The. Then you move on to the H. Hand. If you tend to not pronounce the H, be sure to pronounce it. You need to release air from your throat. It's like a whisper. <sighs> the hand. Then you move on to the A ah sound that is slightly modified. Drop your jaw. Listen. Ha. Ha. You hear this transition? Do it. The hand. Then it's an N and a D. But because there is an M right after, the handmaids, right? The handmaids. So the D is swallowed. You don't say the handmaid. You don't want to fully pronounce the D. Sometimes you can even drop it and no one will notice if you say it super fast. The handmaids, the handmaids, the handmaids, right? And if you want to pronounce it properly, the hand. The D is the hell D, you don't release it. The hand, you move on to the M. The handmaids, a Z, not an S, tail. An aspirated T, a long A as in day, and a dark L. Tail. Sounds like you're adding a Y sound right before the L. Tail. The handmaid's tail. Please do again, keep a secret if one of them is dead. Pretty little liars. A lot of flap T's here. So we start with PR, round your lips a little bit for the R, bring it back, the tongue, pre, and then it's a relaxed I sound, not pre T, but pre, pre. Then a flap T and a high E, pretty, pretty, pretty. Then we have the word little. I have a full video just about the word little, so go check it out. Pretty li, an L sound and a relaxed I. Pretty little flap T and a dark L. So imagine like there is an O in between. Pretty little liars. And then you move on to the L and then liars. You add a Y sound, a schwa, and an R. Liars. Okay? Pretty little liars. Pretty little liars. That's such a tongue twister. Pretty little liars. Pretty, pretty little liars. Pretty little liars. Big little eyes, almost the same, but different. The only difference is that we have the word big. It starts with a B, relaxed I, not big, but big, big. Move on to the word little. You already know how to pronounce it. Big little, and then another L, lies. Close it with a Z. Big little lies. Have you watched Pretty Little Liars last night? Oh no, I watched Big Little Lies. Everyone will see it. Oh God, I can't watch this. Black Mirror. Black mirror. You start with a B sound and then the L. Bl, make the L a little heavier, then open it to the as in cat. Blah, black. Close it with a K. Black. Move on to the M of mirror. Black me, relaxed I. And then don't get all confused with the R and the O and the R. Just make it like a long R. Mirror. Mirror. I kid you not. Just pronounce it like one long R. Mirror. Black mirror. It'll make your life a lot easier and the name is going to sound a lot clearer. Mirror. Black mirror. 
Have you seen the new season of Black Mirror? Oh, it's so black. Game of Thrones. So the word game is rather easy. Make sure you bring your lips together for the M at the end. Game. Then you move on to a reduced word, and that is the word of. So actually, you want to connect those two together. Game of. Game of. Mv. Mv. Then stick the tongue out for the word thrones. You start with a th, then an r. Thur. Thur. Pull the tongue in for the r, so it doesn't hit anything on the way up. Thrones. Right. Thur. So you can also prolong it for a little bit until you make sure that you pronounce the r sound correctly. Throw. Always in go. Make sure you add a w at the end. Thrown and add a z. Thrones. Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. Orange the new black. Orange the new black. Orange the new black. I guess the hardest part here is the is the is the is the. You need to train your tongue to go through this transition between the z sound of is and the th. Z the z the z the. So let's do this for half an hour or so. Z the 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 z the. See, a lot easier. Is the orange z the orange z the, and then we have the first word to add. Orange z the. Now the first syllable is or. Or round your lips for the o. Make sure that you don't bring the tongue up too soon, so it's not orange, but or, or. And from here you move to runch. So it's kind of like you have two r's here. Or runch, an r, a schwa, and the nj sound. Orange. You bring the tongue up for the n, and then you close it with a j. So you technically you're doing something like this. Nj. Nj with your tongue, orange, orange is the okay, and then you move on to this transition that you've already mastered. Orange the new, an n sound, and then the long u as in food, and you don't have to say it as new. You don't have to add the y sound right before the u. No, you can just do it like this. No, because you're chill and you're hip and you're cool. Orange the new, black, a b and an l. Bull, and then the as in cat, blah. Drop your jaw so it doesn't sound like blick or bluck. Blah. Ah. Push your tongue forward. The lips pull to the sides a bit and close it with a K. Orange the new black. Orange the new black. I'm in a dream. You're in my dream. Westworld. I mean, world alone is a ch challenging word, right? So let's first learn how to pronounce that. You start with the W and then you move on to the R immediately. Were there is no O in the middle, so don't say something like world. Okay, just switch from the W to the R and be chill. Be chill. Were then the L is long, is deep. It's it's a back dark open L sound. A lot of times people drop the L and then they say something like word, westward. That's a different name. West world, oh, oh, oh! You want to make sure that you hear that dark, deep L sound, and only then you bring the tongue up for the D, and it has to be light. World, world. Once you hear the D, that's it. The word is over. So it's it shouldn't be too dominant. Now the West starts with a W, and then it's the A、e, as in red. Where? So you want to drop your jaw here, and then the S is pronounced until it it is stopped abruptly, and that is technically the T. West. West. So I don't really pronounce the T. It's not West. West. Moving on to the next word. World. West. World. Okay. West. World. So all these consonants are kind of squeezed in together. So in order to pronounce it clearly, follow my guidelines and then do it over and over and over and over again, like twenty, thirty times until you get your tongue around it. West. World. Queer as folk. Here, the as is a function word, but we're going to pronounce it fully. Queer has a high e sound, and then you shift to the r. Queer. Make sure you don't bring the tongue up too soon, because then it's going to sound like were. Queer. So give some space for the high e to be pronounced. Queer. Then open your mouth for the a as in cat, and close it with a z, not an s. Queer as. And then we have the word folk. It is not folk. There is no L, and the O is a long O, as in go. Folk, 
folk, queer as folk, connect it all together, queer as folk. I can't accept a proposal. I'm scared. <laughs> what just happened? The Bachelor. Classy. Bachelor. You start with a B and then it's the as in cat. Batch. Close it with a ch sound, the first syllable. Batch. And then the most important thing here is that you don't pronounce the O. It's not lore, but it's lur. Bachelor. Bachelor. And on the contrary, we have bachelorette. Bachelorette. So we start the same. Batch. L. Ret. Here we do pronounce an E sound at the end, and that's where the stress lies. Bachelorette. Bachelor, the bachelor, the bachelorette. Okay, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below what is your favorite TV show, and if there are any other shows that I've forgotten to mention that are difficult for you to pronounce. Also, if you want to grab the list of the shows and the phonetic transcription, come on over to my website. It's on my blog post. And while you're there, be sure to subscribe to my newsletter email list so you will get a new video to your inbox every single week. Have a beautiful, wonderful day filled with nature and love and family. And I will see you next week in the next video. Bye.